Number 35. Identify the subshell in which electrons with the following quantum numbers are found. Then I see that I have A through C, so I'm just going to write A, B, and C. Okay, now in order to identify the, actually, the actual specific subshell, you need information from the N and you need information from the L. So the combined information of the shell and basically the subshell will tell you the specific subshell in which you're talking about. Now this would be um, really easy if we just knew what the L values represented. Now in all of these, they just give me L numbers, but we need to know what these correlate to. So I'm gonna give you a chart and you guys should write this down. This is super important. So I'm going to say L and then actually let me make this like this. So write this chart like this, L, and then we'll say subshell. Okay. So if you have an L of zero, the subshell name will always be an S subshell. Oops. Will always be an S subshell. If you have an L of one, your subshell would be a P subshell. If you have an L of two, your subshell would be classified as a D. And if your L number was three, it would be F. And then you go down the alphabet. So if you had an L of four, technically it would be G. Five would be H, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to kind of bring this down. Okay. Now, remember what the L tells you. The L always tells you the shape. So... Instead of saying, you know, circular, round, square, triangle, they give you it in terms of letters, but it's always just talking about the shape. So the S subshell, which is L equals zero, will have a different shape than a P subshell, which has an L of one, et cetera, et cetera. So if we want to know the specific subshell for N equals two and L equals one, we just put the two information together. Now, when you classify a subshell, you'll always have a number and then a letter. The number is always represented by the N number. Then the letter is always represented by the L information. So I'll just say L letter, L information. So when we find our subshell for A, this would be a two blank. Well, they told me that the L was one, so this would be one is a P subshell. So this would be technically two P. And that's it. Specifically, the subshell would be a two P subshell. You get the hint now. I think B and C will be very simple. N equals four, L equals two. It's the number and then the letter. So N equals four, so it would be a four, L equals two, the two value is a D. So this would be a four D subshell. Box that answer off. And then last but not least, C. We have N equals six, L equals zero. Letter, I'm sorry, number, then letter. So we have a six for the N. The L told me that it was zero, but zero represents the S. So this would be a six S subshell. Box that answer off. And basically that's it. Easy as pie. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. Let me know in the comments. If you want to click subscribe and help the channel out, that would be awesome as well. I love helping you guys out. So thank you so much. See you guys all in the next question. Have a great day.